Hey everyone, this is Corey, and I'm going to show you how to play Wonderwall by Oasis. So there are three parts to learn, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. Let's start off with the verse. You're going to capo the second fret, and you're going to play uh, this chord progression. <laughs> Right, so throughout the chord progression, you're 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 gonna keep your third and fourth fingers firmly on the B and high E strings on the fifth fret. Right, you're gonna start off with an F sharp minor seventh chord. That's your first finger on the A string 4th fret and second finger on the D string 4th fret and you're going to also strum the capo A. Then you have an A ma 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 major chord. That's your second finger on the low E string 5th fret along with the uh, capo to E and A. suspended fourth. That's your first finger on the G string fourth fret along with the capo D. And then you have a B seventh suspended fourth. That's your uh, first finger on the D string 4th fret, along with the uh, capo B and A. So you're going to play, play that throughout most of the verses. Uh, there will be one slight variation, though, uh, after Liam sings, I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. You're going to play this. So you're going to add in a D suspended second chord. Your uh, second finger on the A string fifth fret, along with the capoed E and A, with your, with as you, you you can see your third and fourth fingers still on the B and high E strings on the fifth fret. So the so the D suspended second. Suspended fourth and the B seventh. All right, while we are on these chords, let's quickly skip to the chorus where you're going to play this chord progression. All right, so you have the D suspended second, F sharp minor. A major, and back to the F sharp minor.
So then you have the pre-chorus. <laughs> Alright, so start with this lick. So you're going to form that E suspended fourth chord with your first th th finger on a B, third finger on an E, and fourth finger on an A, and use your second finger for a D on the A string fifth fret. Then you have this lick. So take your second finger and place it on a G sharp on the high E string fourth fret. Pick that. Tap your fourth finger onto that A. And then pick the E and B. Then you have the, the, this lick. So, uh... Pick the capoed F sharp, the capoed B, tap your first finger onto a C sharp on the A string fourth fret, then then the capoed E, tap your first finger onto onto an F sharp on the A on the D string fourth fret. Stop right there, play this lick. All right, in between each low note, you're going to pick that A and E. And as for the low notes, you have your second finger on, on an A on the low E string fifth fret, your first finger on a G sharp on the low E string fourth fret, the capoed F sharp, then again um, the A. Then last you have this slick. Alright, so all you're going to do is put your, is, well, not put, keep your third finger on that E on the B string fifth fret. You're going to you're going to pick the capoed B, then the uh, then the E, then the capoed A, so then the capoed uh, high E. E string F sharp, and then and then 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 again the E. So all right, and that's it. Next, I will cover the song. Thanks for watching.